Great to see you once again. Here you are, uh, 70 years of age, retired in, in your hometown, Summerside PEI. How is life for Errol Thompson? Life is pretty good, uh, John. I, uh, I uh, play golf three days a week with some of my buddies, and we've been doing that for the last five years, and I have no complaints whatsoever. Retirement, after you've finished playing the game, let's talk a little bit about that, the, the transition, the adjustment to, to uh, stepping away from the game and entering corporate life. Well, I, uh, I guess I had in the back of my mind when I first started that I was going to retire on my accord and not be pushed out, and, which I ended up doing. Uh, and after that, I started with uh, the Labatt uh, Breweries, and I worked for them for 20 years. And so after that, I said, age 55, I'm going to give it up, and, which I've done. Uh, don't have a whole lot of money, but I'm living very comfortably. Actually, I started a hockey school in St. Andrews, and Scotty Bowman saw me there, and he figured I had some kind of a p potential, I guess. So then I went to Halifax and, and uh, worked a couple of years there, and uh, I guess I was a frustrated kid because I didn't know what I wanted to do, whether I wanted to continue hockey or not, and, and I picked the or not. So I set out for two years, <clears throat> and then I came back home, and the senior team, pestered me, the daylights out of me, to play with them for a while. So that's where it ended up. I played with them, and that's where I got scouted. And then the whole new life began. That, I think, uh, without a doubt, made my whole career there. Uh, Red Kelly saw something there, and he put us together, and it worked very well. Uh, and, and uh, I mean, I got... Uh, some accolades, I guess, that I didn't deserve, but I mean, I, I got them because I was with those two guys. And we were very compatible, I think, as a line, and we worked well, uh, you know, that uh, we, we knew where each other were, where it was on the ice, and, and we had a great uh, couple of seasons. I think Darrell was an inspiration to all his teammates and anybody that knew Darrell. He's such a such a gentleman. He, uh, he played the game hard, he worked hard, and uh, he helped everybody that worked with him work hard. And, and uh, he's such a sincere guy, and uh, I mean, and his career shows it uh, that he was a star of the game. And on the opposite, opposite wing, uh, Lanny McDonald. <laughs> Well, Lanny was a super nice guy. He, he went out of his way to make everybody feel comfortable. Uh, great time, line mate, uh, great social uh, uh, teammate, uh, and he was inspiration to everybody that played the game in, in Toronto especially. Well, I think my personal highlight of the, my career was the night that Darrell got the 10 points. The, uh, I mean, you go back and if you weren't there, you didn't realize that uh, Maple Leaf Gardens was electrified that night. Uh, the lights seemed to be brighter. The fans were more rambunctious than I've ever seen them. And the whole atmosphere in Maple Leaf Gardens was different than I've ever, ever seen in my life. And it's never been the same after that, I guess. But, I mean, that was just a terrific situation to be in, uh, you know, to, to a man like Darrell that uh, set that record, which I don't think will ever be broken. Well, I think for some reason, Mr. Ballard, like me, as he did with all Islanders that played with Toronto, uh, I remember one th time that just after I got traded, he had given everybody in the team a Christmas gift, and I guess it would be Christmas of 77. I got traded in 78 uh, to Detroit, and I came back in to, with Detroit to play in Toronto. And after the game, both teams were leaving, and we met at the airport. And I went over to Mr. Ballard and said hello to him, and he asked me how I was doing in Detroit. And, and he said, oh, by the way, he said, I still owe you a Christmas gift, which I thought that was very, very nice and unbelievable because I was gone from the team and he still owed me, which was nice of him to even remember it. I, I thought it was a... a 
when Mr. Lindsay asked me or told me that he was going to give me the C, and my first impression, I felt bad for Dale McCourt, who had the C before that, and I didn't want any animosity between anybody. And, and I talked with Mr. Lindsay on it, and he said, no, Earl, he said, you're a veteran, and you work hard, and you deserve it, and I want you to have it. So, I mean, I took it with much, much pride. Well, I think years ago there was some, there was, uh, you know, there was always tough players. Uh, the tough guys never fought guys like myself because I wasn't a tough guy or a fighter. But you respect those guys. Other people that were there, certain guys, uh, they were scary tough. Because they would, uh, you know, you, you watch the guy, uh, slash the guy across the ankle and break his ankle in a face-off circle. You don't know what those people are going to do. And that's the scary part. So is there anyone that, uh, any name or two that jump, up, <laughs> jump out at you? Well, I think uh, uh, Steve Durbano and maybe one. Uh, Ed Van Imp, who played with Philly, was another one. Uh, there was a few guys that were, were okay but could, uh, could turn around very quickly. I guess you, if you put it in perspective, it's like anything else. If you look at a teacher, for instance, uh, 40 years ago, they weren't making the salary that the teachers are making today. And I, I'm no reflection on teachers, but I'm just as a profession. Uh, you know, I, I think when we look back on it, we can't go back and hindsight is great. But you know what? Uh, we didn't make a whole lot of money, but I think it was good money at that time. And, uh, and uh, a lot of opportunities. I mean, only for hockey, I wouldn't have been able to probably work for Labatt's for 20 years. So. There's different avenues besides the financial aspect, too, that becomes the light, light, and that would be one of them. Well, I'll never be remembered as a fighter, for sure, so, but I guess uh, uh, my ability to score goals and, and, and skate, I guess, uh, from what I've been told, is, is one of the highlights that I had to offer. And they still talk about my backhand, which I didn't think it was the best, but it was one of the, one of the ones that were used quite often.